Hi guys, welcome back. So I am sorry that the videos have been so long in coming. So I have decided that while I am still trying to film and trying to get some videos going, I might just pop these. So we'll just call them nature vlogs. They don't have any watercolor in them yet. So we'll do that kind of as a separate video to um, sort of follow up on these. So, um, yeah, we are going to go through and do videos on like how to paint the deer, how to paint irises, peonies, mo uh, moss, and all kinds of different little flowers and nature things. But I think we're going to have to postpone the actual painting part um, for about a month or so. So I thought that instead of kind of waiting until I could do that, um, every Thursday I will try and post one of the nature vlogs because I already have the footage and it's really beautiful. You can see here that the deer, I feel like they look like kangaroos kind of in the, um, you know, in the forest there. And then um, they were all kind of looking at me because they wanted some pears. So usually my brother feeds them all the time and um, I'm usually on my way out when I pass them. So I don't have any food with me. and. Um, yeah, so they're all looking at me waiting for some food. So I always have to text in and say, they're, they're here, they're ready for food. But my brother's really the local animal whisperer and he just organises um, treats for them all the time. So so um, we are going to, like, like I really want to paint this and I really want to um, be able to get some templates for you guys so that you can trace it. And then we'll also do kind of some looser versions. So I feel like there is a real cottage core painting moment here with the deer sitting in the field of wishes and um, that is something my sister wants to do a collab video on like a cottage core but um, we're still working through that so I, I'm just going to kind of let you know that I um, a couple of probably late 2016 I um, I, I pinched a nerve in my back and it was pretty bad and then uh, it got better then I it happened again I ended up in hospital and um, they said I would need a surgery um, see these beautiful irises so anyway I, di I didn't want to do that because yeah just uh, that wasn't on the cards for me I didn't want to so um, I had to figure out a different way and I have been doing um, like restorative yoga um, on like a sit up one it's a kind of I go the opposite way that you should go and kind of rest my elbows on the uh, knee rests and then I can kind of um, do those exercises so while I'm doing that um, you know my back is quite good but anyway so a bunch of circumstances this year I ended up pinching it again so I'm, I can't film at the minute like I'm just trying to get better at the minute so um, I I wanted to wait for these videos until I had the watercolor sort of with them and everything but I, I know that a lot of you are wanting some videos so I just wanted to put these out and um, they they are really beautiful and calming and they remind me of my great-grandmother and I have talked a little bit about her before. So I have thought about her a lot, especially the last year and a half, you know, we have all done so well and I've got so many of your emails and DMs and um, messages about how hard it's been and um, I have thought a lot about um, her life and she had eight children so she was married quite young I think and then um, the youngest was a baby the oldest was 16 and then her husband died and um, you know it was a, a huge um, you know hardship for her and 
I was probably eight the last time I went to visit her house and her house was the same house that her husband built her um, when, you know, I don't know, 60 years earlier, 50 years earlier, I'm not sure, but but the, um, the so it's kind of one of those um, Australian houses kind of built on stilts, so a little bit off the ground, maybe half a metre or a metre off the ground, so there's just kind of a crawl space underneath, just dirt, and then, and I think, you know, it's a bit different to American houses because usually there's a basement. So it's just kind of a crawl space with dirt underneath the house. And um, when I went there, the lounge room was just all dusty. It was filled with books, just floor, um, just piles of books all over the floor. You couldn't get to the couch. There was a um, holes in the floor there where you, you could sort of get to the under the dirt. And um, the toilet was out on the back veranda, so you had to actually go out. And it was really scary, I remember at night, if you had to go. Um, anyway, it was, you know, her home had suffered a lot. She had suffered a lot, and yet um, there was so much magic in her home. Like, as a kid, I was fascinated by the, you know, the faded wallpaper and the little, little sort of old tapestry cushions that were worn and the um, black and white TV antennas and you kind of had to um, move them and it was freezing cold but you just wanted to sit there and watch this tiny little telly and see if there was something on. Um, and, you know, just how how lovely she still was out of all that you know um and i don't even know if she knew my name she'd always say does anybody want a cookie i would be the only one there <laughs> um you know and she'd make sure i shared one with my brother but um i just i i, I think about that and i think you know how much beauty and um life there was from her sorrow and I know that it's been such a hard year and a half and I just um so you know the videos are sort of not not finished and um I, I suppose we're all a bit broken up um after this but I think that um I just wanted to send the videos out and just let you know that I'm thinking of you and that there is um there is a lot of um still to embrace and to um, hope for and so yeah I will leave you with just this little story and I will um, try and post every Thursday for the next couple of weeks and hopefully you know I might be able to start getting more videos in so that's all for today and I will hopefully see you soon bye